I've got a bunch of stuff here for mailbag. Stick around and see what I've actually got this time, because I don't know. Right, what's in here? And where is the way into it? Is it here? Okay, these are some OVDS connectors. I'm not sure the right ones, but I'll some OVDS connectors. Where did I put this other one? This one I pulled out of a MacBook the other day, which I've now lost. Hold on, yeah, she's a cable. It's a 30 pin. It's a 30 pin cable. Okay, that's fine, that's the right one. So these are 40 pin OVDS connectors. So I needed these for a MacBook Pro uh, 2012. Now, I purchased some different ones. I had some other ones which weren't quite the right fit. They went on, but there's like a different version of 40 pin. And the connector from the actual cable, like you know, the actual LVDS cable like this, just didn't quite fit right. So I'm gonna change the connector again. I think these might be the right ones, or are these the same as what I've already got, I can't quite tell. I'll have to play around with that and have a closer look. But yeah, I've purchased a few different ones and different people. So I've got some different ones coming. Hopefully one of them will be right. And that's what they look like close up. There's the bottom, and there's the top. In case you care. Let's see what's in here. Bag inside a bag inside bags. So you always need that. These are uh, on the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of what they are. It's a Pro Micro. There we go, Pro Micro. I got these instead of my Pro Minis. There's a reason for that because it's got the USB port built into it. Okay, let's get one out. I've got a whole bunch of Pro Minis already. But they use um, I2C, not I2C, serial communication interface rather than um, USB. The reason what they say is because it's got a micro USB on the end of it. And I purchased a bunch of these because I want to make an automatic view switcher for my live streams. So it's using the Mega 328 U4, which has got the built in USB. Um, Handler. So that's the plan at least. So this should be uh, usable to make a switcher. So I can plug this in, make it act like a keyboard, and do view switching when I'm doing live streams. So I've got a few of them, as I always do. I always buy more than I actually need. Because, you know, you should always do that. So that's one of the first building blocks, is that. But I'm waiting for some other stuff to come yet. Maybe it's in one of these other bags. All right, what's in this one? I saw these mentioned on the EV blog. I think that's what they are. If I can get in there. Try and get in there. So I've got two sets, red and black. So these are just, obviously just binding post things. But they've got a um, the knob on them. Just got a standard shaft. But it's also got a four point, well four mil um, banana jack on the end of it. Just in there. So I'm hoping what I can do is use my existing um, binding posts and chuck these knobs on. So they're going to just plug in directly on the ends instead. The reason, main reason I've got this is for my DC electronic load. Because it's just a bit more convenient. So, but I might use on other things too. I mean if they're good then I might um, even get some more of them. What if I'll go on my power supply? Which is just over here in the corner. 
Can I get these knobs off? Never tried. These got um, been on the jacks on the end of them anyway, you know. So, but I just want to see if they'll physically fit. Whether the threads are the same or not. Doesn't feel the same. No, they're different. In this case, they're different. But hopefully, I'll fit something else. In this case, you can always change the actual jacks themselves. So, we'll give it a go anyway. And also, there's more of them in here. Try to try and extract. I think they've overdone it a little bit with the bloody wrap somehow. I don't think it needed to be that well wrapped up. <laughs> I might even need to get a real knife for this. Drought. Luck of a lax. Alright, what's in this one? Can't get in. Hmm. Just some capacitors. What are they? 25 volt, 100 microfarad. Yeah, I think I bought those for those um, RF power meters I was servicing. I was replacing caps on those. I already had caps, so I obviously bought some more just in case. Just to top up my stocks. I don't want to drop down my stocks too much. See what's in here. Although I think I actually already know what's in here. So it's from this guy. Top dog test on eBay. I've just stuff from him before. Had no problems with it, I think. Not from memory anyway. What's in here? A bit of paper, something to something over it. Probably just the invoice. Look at this. Don't need that. Don't need that. So I've got some Pomona leads. Um, I purchase these because I need them. So it's a double lead with a uh, guard terminal as well. There you go, closer look. Real Pomona, well hopefully it's real Pomona. And the idea of these is you get, um, hopefully, less noisy readings when doing precision measurements. Now the main reason I want these things is that uh, I want to do some precision DC measurements soon. And I think by the time you see this video in mailbag, um, I would have already done it because this mailbag stuff's about a month or so behind. So I would have repeated it by then. Hopefully the items arrive by then. So these are stackable as well, as you normally get. So we'll see where this goes. Now, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you have to get quality. So the actual model number of these, I've got two, two of them. It's a 116748. So a double banana shielded line. So a thousand volts max apparently. Um, 30 VA. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> 30 VA, 60 volt DC. Anyway. But yeah, sometimes you just need high quality leads, but these things clip me back a fair bit of money, as they do. But um, So I'm really hoping it does a job as far as reducing the noises in my um, precision measurements. Because I want to do some calibration soon. Make sure you check out the links down below as well for anything I've got in my mail bags. I, if I, something which I um, can have an affiliate link to, or maybe a, a, just a generalised link which you'll find useful to get stuff from, then I'll put a link down below. If it's something which I don't, it's like a, you know, things like capacitors. Right? You can get them from anywhere. I'm not going to put links down below for those. Right? It just gives you some idea. But other stuff, then there'll be links.
eBay things, for example. I won't, I won't give a link for an eBay thing. Now, this is looking slightly battered, isn't it? So a bit, bit of a hard trip. Hmm. Anyway, it's a multimeter. UT LCR meter. UT610. So this is for f a review item from Banggood for free. Alright, so it hasn't cost me any money. Luckily, it's inside a nice hard case. <laughs> so it's definitely survived, alright? The case has survived and the mid has arrived. We've got, got a CD, a mini CD, manual. And this multi-way plug things. The short as well. Calibration connector. And there's the actual meter. Comes with a battery. It's nice of them. Don't normally get batteries. Well, you, you can sometimes, not always. It's got a special plug here. It's a USB to something else. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's not a mini USB or micro USB. It's something else. It's like some custom one. Don't recognise it. It's a little bit different. Interesting. And we've got a uh, tweezer probe. So I'll be doing a proper review on this. In fact, by the time you see this mailbag video, um, I would have done a review video uh, weeks ago. So I'll, I'll chuck a link down below for the review when I publish this video. Because that makes total sense, doesn't it, to review it before I receive it. it it's just completely logical. So yeah, check out the, re the review video, which will be linked down below for this. And also check out the links I'll be putting down below for this as well um, to go to Banggood and maybe buy one of these yourself or something like it. But base it on the review. Go and have a look at the review as well. But it's a be a good thing to play around with. You never have enough LCR meters, so I've got about three of them. But you always need more. Always need more. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, all the usual stuff, share the video. Yeah, all that stuff. Bye.